What is up, Mama Jumbo Spazzes here? Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome to Children of Clay. Um, this guy looks familiar for me. I don't know why. Maybe, it, maybe it's a David Cheeseman. If you know David Cheeseman, leave a comment down below and subscribe and like, of course. But I think it's David Cheeseman. It's it's a Children of David Cheeseman. So let's get right into it and see who the hell are. Children of Clay. Name artifact number 297. Site Corgan Burial Mounds, Ural Mount. Ooh, I was from Ural Mountains. That's my, my, my home home area. The Ural Mountains. Uh, material Clay, age unknown, function unknown. Okay. Hey, what's up? So, search for spashes, of course. I could not find anything relevant. Okay. What about. Uh. Uh huh. I could have fired at it to rail. Okay. What about. No? What is this boring book? What about memes? Okay. The feature resembles a human face. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, right, it is. Uh, it looks like some sort of etching. I should use the magnifier to look closer. Where's my magnifier? It's a compass. Is that magnifier? Ooh. Seem to be some sort of runes, but I don't recognize the type. Maybe I can find something in my books. Um, runes. Ooh, I can translate the runes with this chart. The old Hungarian script of Hungarian... Wait, hold up. Why Hungarian? We're in Russia. We found this, this guy in the middle of Russia. I lived there. There is no Hungarians there. Uh, it's an alphabetic writing system or the Hungarian language. After the establishment of the Christian Hungarian Kingdom, the old writing system was partly forced out to use, uh, of use during the rule of King Stefan and the Latin alphabet was adopted. However, among some professors, for example shepherds uh, who used the rova stick to officially track the number of animals, the script remained in use. All Hungarian letters were usually written from right to left. Some from right to left, you say? Okay. Uh, oh, I wrote it down. So we should be... Wait, hold up. Runes. Uh-huh. Uh, from right to left, you say. So we will go uh, C or S. CS. Uh, I, I probably need to write it down as well. Brother. Okay, let me put up my notes from my iPhone. Okay, so... Uh, CS. Uh, I will do CS. Then, next one is look looks like H. So probably is H. Maybe not. Um, I can only see that it's R. R. But it's on the different, different way. Is there anything similar to that? I don't think so. So probably it is R. Yeah, let's put it R. Uh, the next one is a plus. So only plus I see is this one. So it's D. Uh, the next one is this mumbo jumbo. It's U. Uh, then backward C is N. And the first one, the mountain top, is G, I think. Uh, I, I think I got it wrong for some reason. Because I got gnurgs. Like, oh, you cannot see that. Okay. Oh, you can. But it's gnurgs. Gnurgs. Let's try to look for that in the book. G Gnurdurk Gnurdurk Gn No, I think I got it wrong. I think I got it wrong. Okay. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Okay. 
So from first to last, I will do as uh, as normal people do. Okay, uh, the first one is the mountains. So it should be probably G. Where's my mouse? Uh, oh, it could be L as well. But there's two strikes here. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure it's G. Uh, the next one is backwards S. It only could be N. Uh, the next one is this guy. So it should be U. I don't think it's this one. And, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. It could be O. Could be N or O. So let's try to put go. We got go. Uh, the next one is plus. So plus is a D. Or could be I. No, it's more of a D. Let's put it D. Goad. We got goad. Then the H thing. That I'm not sure. That is R. Um, could be M. Nah, it could not be M. So it should definitely be R. Gooder. And the U again. Gooder. Is this Gooder? Gooder. Shit. Why? What am I doing wrong? Looks like a metal object embedded in the artifact. It doesn't seem like it's possible to extract it. Maybe I can find out what kind of material it is. How? Metal object. How can I do that? Here is this feature resembles a tail. I see. The compass is detected magnetic field, so it's likely contains iron. Um, iron. Ooh, the earliest known iron work is dated from uh, blah, 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 are made from mete meteoric iron. There are two main types of iron work: raw full iron or cold iron, cast iron. Cold iron has a long and varied tradition in the mythology and folklore in the world. Let's say cold iron. Cold iron. Cold iron is historically believed to repel contain harm ghosts, fairies, witches, and other malvalian supernatural creatures. This belief continued into later superstitions in a number of forms. Okay. So what about the text though? So I was right. It's Gnur. Gnudru. Gnudru. I couldn't find anything, but I'm sure I translated it right. Must be. Uh, I must have missed something regarding these runes. So, what, what exactly we missed? We know that this is iron. Um, the tail. Tail. Uh, statue. Clay. Uh, pottery is the process of pouring object clay uh, and other raw materials which are fired at high temperatures again hard durable form. It is one of the oldest human inventions originating from the Neolithic period. Wait, hold up. What is Neolithic? Neolithic. Okay. What if we try back? Yes. Erdunk. Old Hungarian is a shape-shifting demonic creature from Hungarian mythology and early Hungarian paganism who controls the dark and evil forces of the world. After Christianization was identified with the devil, one surviving folktale about Erdung involves one of the spawns of Erdung arriving to Earth and the shaman of the village consulting the spirits to learn how to trap the creature. 
Great, so that's this guy. Why does he have an iron in his bed? Uh, let's check the... Shaman? Boy. Interesting, some sort of dark liquid is flowing through the holes. Why though? Is he crying? Uh, dark liquid? Liquid? Dark. Uh, shaman. Uh, devil. Uh, demon. Frick. Looks like the dark liquid loosened the metal object. Ooh, let's take it from his boat. Can we take it? Can we take it from his boat? Oh. There you go, boy. Feeling better? You feeling better, boy? What the hell? Exam from the newspaper article titled The Children of Clay. Just a few months after the disappearance of the esteemed archaeologist and the incident involving broken artifact, the team working on the remote site in the Urals has made an astonishing discovery. A previously unknown underground chamber containing a dozen similar slow, small clay figures has been discovered. They're already in contact with several universities across the globe for the study. Did that die? Is that it? Did I just open the demon and vanished? Okay, the story is good, the mechanics are good, but still it's a bit too short. I wanted more, I wanted the jump scare at least. I thought something is gonna jump from it, or become something that jumped on me. But damn, that was good. That was different, that was actually different, that was nice. I really enjoyed the experience though. And I hope you enjoyed that as well. Smash like if you did, leave a comment down below what you think about the children of clay. And what do you think is going on here? What's we gonna play next? Also, don't forget to subscribe, a regular ding, ding, the bell button to see when my videos go live because I upload every single play. So, I'll see you all tomorrow in the next video.